today in this box i have something really special four cameras 4k 5 megapixel plus all the cables the ethernet cables and one more the mbr system with two terabyte drive in that 4k so in this video what we're going to do we're going to remove everything i show you what we get in this box plus we're going to config this for the first time All right, so let's see what we get in the first box and that's a cable so it comes already with four 60 feet ethernet cable 5e so the next box all right so we see now we get the quick guide and the installation of the mvr with the camera and to download the application you scan right there i guess a quick guy and security camera uh, sticker now the power supply is rated 100 and 240 so you can use anywhere around the world and now we see the MBR system pick quick run it back we have the four screws to remove the high drive run the front we have three LED lights network run and high drive indicator run it back we have a port ethernet connection for total eight cameras connect to a router in and out audio hdmi vj in two uh, usb 3.0 and 2.0 and what we're going to do now we're going to open the device on pick on it and let's look inside the mbr now to open the mbr is pretty simple only six screws but you're gonna have to open it i want to just to show you but to install you don't need to open this box so if we look inside we see a western digital two terabytes this is a uh, purple color it means it's perfect to use especially for uh, security systems or mbr and we can see right there the motherboard pretty simple right yeah western digital purple dry now, now if you look the final box and here we're going to get the cables and the cameras here first the patch cable between you, the MBR and your router the 110 volt power cable for the transformer to power the MBR to make simple installation now the RJ45 uh, waterproof connector and then you get all the screws and everything to install the camera the mouse to control the MBR system no keyboard required and now the camera is a 5 megapixel camera we can see the uh, night vision right there the two screws and the side uh, to be able to adjust the camera using the allen keys already provide and now since we're not going to be using the external power we're going to seal up doesn't require to use that because we're going to be powering through the rj45 uh, right there all right, so we are ready to install and the structure and show you step by step, but you're gonna see how simple it is. One thing I love about, about this system, it is super easy to install. I mean, it doesn't require to be um, uh, te technical savvy. You don't need to have any backgrounds on, on secure installation or no any IP or anything. Technically, you install everything, this will config. You just config everything manual. But besides that, then you can go in advanced mode. But as per manufacturer, as few get, you install all the cameras in your house and your business plug it in put a monitor get the cables in connect it out to the router and it's simple you're going to see that right now so right now we're going to config the mbr right away so what we're going to do now so what we need to do if we look right in the back so we need to set the output for the my video uh, we're going to install the mouse that comes with the mouse you don't need any keyboard by the way the 2.0 3.0 now the 3.0 will allow you to install an external hard drive in case you want to copy a video to an external device. And my next thing is plug my network. So it will automatically detect the network. That way it will automatically keep the, the IP address and dynamic IP if you choose so. Simple. And, and the power. And by the way, there is no switch or anything. When you plug it in, uh, the unit will start. All right, I just plug it in and the first thing you hear is a beep uh, there is no switch on it so what we're going to see first is HD 
it's going to show up uh, blue light, then network, and then running. Okay, so we saw there. Uh, we got the network. I detected, and HT is loading the software right now. And when we he when we see here running, it will be all done. All right. Get the first screen to configure this, and simple. Watch this. So the first thing we need to do: say your language. Okay, in this case, we leave it in English. We put OK. Now the default password is one two three four five six one two three four five six. No keyboard required. So press Enter. Login. It's going to ask me to change your password. You should change it, and I'm going to change it. I said no. If you want to use this uh, to unlock, you can use that. If you want to, you can to not show it again. I'm going to skip this, and I'm going to configure this right now. So we go to the wizard, and we click next. Now here, just set your time, set your location, whatever you are, right? Set your location, your time format, and date format, and the time. You click next. IP address. I would recommend it to leave it a uh, dynamic IP, but you always can go manually if you know all the IP address on your network. But if you are connected to a network, it automatically detects it will give you the right, upper, uh, uh, right IP address to the MBR. So that way it will not conflict with any other device that you have at home or in your business. Uh, your next thing is this is the IP address of the camera. They already said it will be 127.16.01. So I guess it will be 1234504 and up to a, a camera support this device it's done you don't need to do nothing at this point put ok now you can change the resolution here they recommend to use uh, to a, a, a 19 by 1080 it's recommending quality but in that case i'm going to put cancel that's it we we'll leave it that way and now what i'm going to do i'm going to install a camera and it's pretty simple to do this uh, we're going to connect one camera here. Automatically, when you connect, a light should show up right there. I'm going to put this on port one, so camera one. And a light up here, so it's power to the camera. If we switch back, it takes about maybe a minute to show the camera, but at this point, do not do anything. Now, you can connect all the cameras. An automatic one that starts in the beginning will show up, but I like to do it this way so I show you this thing clean. But if you want to do it from the beginning, connect all your cameras, and as soon as the system starts and you answer those three questions, uh, after a minute or two, you'll start seeing all the cameras start popping up in each screen. So it should be only four in this case if we're going to connect four cameras. So you need to have patience. As you see there, we have that camera, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to install one more on port 3 I'm going to install one port 3 okay it's going to take uh, it's going to take uh, about a minute make sure we got power here and what you can do over here now this is your main screen home we can change this to 4 or 9 so this system is only 4 we're going to have 4 cameras so we need to change this to 4 Right, so we got four. We'll show up the number three somewhere here. We'll show up, yeah, right, get right there in the bottom. All right, so now you can click on each camera, and when you click on the camera, show you the uh, TPC control, but this one will not control that way, so we need to worry about that. We can start local recording if you want. We can play back from here. We can start digital soon. We can change the brightness or configuration of the camera and sounds a speaker. We don't have none of those things here, and we can see now the information of the camera in the resolution as a fair resolution but if i click here and i want to play back and the camera is recording when i press here see the camera is whatever i pre-record before see i can stop it that's real nice there and another control the camera watch this i'm going to start the digital zoom and let's go up to my uh, eyeglass so i click right there and see we can see my eyeglass so let's go up in the corner of the light right there and we click there we can see the light so you can go and move anywhere you want it see you can big area we can see that in my neck whatever you whatever you want to see right there in my mic real nice now you press your uh, right button at once again and you are again in the main screen if we go right over here we can see more controls here 
Now, if we click right over here, what well, we get the full information of the cameras. The next one is all the warnings, all the alarms, settings, IP address, and we can lock the screen. But I want to go on the main configuration of the system. So I'm going to right click on it and I go menu. And now we see the whole thing. Now we see each camera, the IP address. At this point, we can change names. You can click here in the camera and you get a little window to see if the ca that particular camera is working. We can put different names. We can configure this. But I will say if you have this automatically, it doesn't do anything. It's done at this point. You have an advanced system if you want. Here, the encoding information. We can change the way the compression. We can change the resolution if you want. If you want 1080, or you can change that if you But as default, it's working perfect. Nothing to change there. Here we can set the day and time and we can put a name on it. We can put a picture overlay there, something like an image when it takes a picture. And this one we don't need to worry because this camera will not control that way. So we have a lot of things to configure, but as default, it was part of it. My network automatically detected. You can see everything DNS. You can change that. You can send an email for warning. It will send you messages as well too. We can look into the system, the device, and actually we can update, change user, security, and we can do all the changes right from here. Backup. Now storage, and we get full information on the storage. The nice thing here now, we can uh, set the schedule. You can say schedule when to start recording, when not to record. Maybe you want this only when you are out of the office. If you set this uh, for your home, so during the day only records, at night will not record or records in outdoor, not in well, not the cameras inside. There's a lot of things we can change from here, but at default, it's working perfect. Here we can set the alarm. Maybe you have this in our site, and you only want a corner or a piece only. And say when somebody comes from that corner, I want the camera to send me a message. If that's what we want. Now the application. You need to create an account. After you create an account, I want you to go into Live View, click the plus on the camera. You're gonna see the MVR. You're going to see that if you are only connect to your local network. So please disconnect the phone data and stay connected to your local network. So it will detect it. We click next right there. So now we need to enter the camera. So recognize the system. You click plus right there and it says a scan. You're going to click a scan, right? You press OK. And what you're going to do now, you're going to go in a scan after you show you that on the screen. I change that for a second and you're going to scan right there. And that's it. When you scan there, right, it will detect the cameras. And then what you do at that point, you can hit the cameras here. So you want this, the camera, you click on it. You're going to go back right over here and automatically will start loading the cameras. And we can change. We got four. So if we click here, see MBR, that will be the camera. We click right there and it will start loading up if that's the camera see no camera connected if i got right over here mbr camera 4 and it will show up over here but you have to do that in the beginning and read the uh the code for the first time only that from here we can click right over here even we can go and do a playback device check the device check pictures so we can do a lot of things out of the application another thing too that i want to show you very important you can go and let me go back into another thing you can do too you can and edit the video by right click right there go into playback mode and now you can see here or play each camera what did they record when was recording and the time and what what we can do as well too we can also cut and paste we can record we can take a piece only of the video and then we can export this or send it to uh, an external hard drive. And now testing the camera, we can see it actually works real, real good. It has a perfect, nice resolution, good color. And also they got a wide angle lens and also because it's a 4K, you have a bigger area uh, it's going to cover. Uh, what I'm going to do now, I want to show you a, a pre-record uh, video I did last night. Uh, trying the uh, for uh, the night vision and you will see how clear it looks it looks real nice a, a perfect clear black and white as supposed to be uh, the night vision and so we see it right there and it looks perfect 
as you see the whole system is simple to do doesn't require any te any technical level doesn't require to understand how the network works as long as you plug all the cables let the system and do everything for you it will detect the camera set up the pedestrian and it's done and after that if you want to then config and to any difference and set up into the camera into the camera on the system you can go and do that as well too but with no technical level doesn't require much i will say like in 20 minutes or 10 minutes you got the whole system running all right i'll see you next time bye